At First Fruits of Zion, we are about to republish Paul Philip Levertov's classic book on Hasidic mysticism and the Gospel of John. The book is titled Love and the Messianic Age in hitherto untranslated Hasidic writings with special reference to the fourth gospel. Paul Philip Levertov was a celebrated Jewish scholar with a prestigious yeshiva background and an ardent disciple of Yeshua of Nazareth. Levertov first published Love and the Messianic Age in 1923, and it's been out of print since then. Currently, in libraries that report to the World Catalog System, there are only 15 extant copies remaining. This is one of them. What's this book about? Let me see if I can sum it up for you in, in just a few minutes. Let me read you a few lines from the first chapter. To attain this vision, the actual sight of God, is the highest aim. It is a consummation which will not be reached until the Messianic age, but it is surely promised then. In this connection, the prophetic utterances of Deuteronomy 32, 39, behold, that I am he. And Isaiah 40, verse 5, all flesh shall see together, are produced to show that the actual vision of God, the beatific vision, is promised under the Mosaic and will be achieved under the Messianic dispensation. It is the business of the Hasid to live now for the realization of this Messianic age. What does that mean? According to Levertov and Hasidic Judaism, the highest purpose for man is to see God. Now this is allegorical because no one can see God, but it's speaking of experiencing and knowing God to the fullest extent possible. The Apostle Paul uses almost the same analogy when he says in 1 Corinthians 13, 12, For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. Hasidic mysticism places the experience of seeing God, allegorically speaking that is, to come into the full revelation of God as the highest goal in life, the highest purpose for man to know God intimately. But Hasidic mysticism teaches that this knowledge of God, this perfect revelation of God, will not be granted until the Messianic age and the world to come. Levertov points out that in his mystical sources, the verse in Deuteronomy 32, 39 that says, See now that I, I am he, is prophetic of the Messianic era. Also, his sources interpret the verse in Isaiah 40, verse 5 that says, And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. They interpret this as prophetic of the Messianic era. That's what the promise of the New Covenant in Jeremiah 31 tells us as well, where it says, And no longer shall each one teach his neighbor and each his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. So, when Messiah comes, it's like the veil will be lifted, and all humanity will come into this, this intimate knowledge of God, this intimate experience with God. We will be like men who were born blind, suddenly receiving the gift, the gift of sight. That's the joy for which we yearn, this intimacy and experience of God that will be ours when Messiah returns. This is spoken about in the book of Revelation where it says in Revelation 22.4, they will see his face and his name will be on their foreheads. And Hasidic teaching looks forward to that day, longing and yearning for the coming of Messiah when all flesh shall see together and everyone will know the Lord. But the thing is that Hasidic teaching is not just about waiting for Messiah to come. Instead, Levertov says, it is the business of the Hasid to live now for the realization of this messianic age. The mystic and the Hasid lives his daily life in this present world, eagerly anticipating that future realization. Thus, the mystic is seeking the knowledge of Hashem that will be revealed in the future in the messianic era. Yet, he is seeking to understand this knowledge in the here and in the now. In other words, 
He's trying to live in the promised coming kingdom here and now today. He's trying to attain as much of the experience of God and the knowledge of God that he can right now. He doesn't want to wait. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to wait until... Uh, He doesn't want to wait until Messiah comes. He has one foot in the Messianic era already. That's what this book is about. How to do that. How to have one foot in the Messianic era, in the here and now, today. It's about how we experience God through the knowledge of God, through the Torah, through the fear of the Lord, through joy and joy-filled living, through fervent prayer, through repentance, and most of all, through love, Love for Hashem and love for one's fellow. And that's what the gospel is all about too. Yochanan the Immerser, John the Baptist, Yeshua, the Apostles, they all came preaching, repent for the kingdom of heaven is now. In other words, don't wait until the end of the age to enter the kingdom. We have already found the Messiah. We can enter the kingdom right now. And we can begin to taste of this intimacy with God right now. Through the experience of Messiah, we can know God, have fellowship and intimacy with the Father through the Spirit, exercise proper proper fear of Hashem, experience joy as the fruit of the Spirit, practicing sincere and fervent prayer, living holy, sanctified, penitent lives, and most of all, most of all, living in love, which is the highest and the greatest expression of God. The Apostle Paul says, Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. In the epilogue to the book, Levertov demonstrates that through Messiah, God reveals his love for the world. The revelation of love that is reserved for the Messianic age is already made manifest through Yeshua. Love is the purest, the highest revelation of God. Therefore, Hasidus teaches that this love will be fully revealed in the Messianic age. And the apostles teach that the love which is destined to be revealed has already been revealed in Messiah. This is what Levertov is alluding to in his preface to love in the Messianic age, when he writes, The difference between Hasidic and Christian conceptions of love is not a difference of degree, but of quality, a difference between expectation and realization. In other words, Hasidic mysticism has all the expectations of Messiah, the Messianic age, and revelation of God through divine love already figured out. And they are the same expectations taught to us by the apostolic writings. The only difference is that in Hasidic philosophy, it's still just an expectation. But in in apostolic theology, it's already here. Messiah is already now. All we have to do is open our eyes.